chapter 2. When someone brings a grain offering to the Lord, his offering is to be of fine flour. He is to pour oil on it, put incense on it, and take it to Aaron's sons, the priests. The priest shall take a handful of the fine flour and oil, together with all the incense, and burn this as a memorial portion on the altar, an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the grain offering belongs to Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the offerings made to the Lord by fire. If you bring a grain offering baked in an oven, it is to consist of fine flour, cakes made without yeast and mixed with oil, or wafers made without yeast and spread with oil. If your grain offering is prepared on a griddle, it is to be made of fine flour mixed with oil and without yeast. Crumble it and pour oil on it. It is a grain offering. If your grain offering is cooked in a pan, it is to be made of fine flour and oil. Bring the grain offering made of these things to the Lord. Present it to the priest, who shall take it to the altar. He shall take out the memorial portion from the grain offering and burn it on the altar, as an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the grain offering belongs to Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the offerings made to the Lord by fire. Every grain offering you bring to the Lord must be made without yeast, for you are not to burn any yeast or honey in an offering made to the Lord by fire. You may bring them to the Lord as an offering of the first fruits, but they are not to be offered on the altar as a pleasing aroma. Season all your grain offerings with salt. Do not leave the salt of the covenant of your God out of your grain offerings. Add salt to all your offerings. If you bring a grain offering of first fruits to the Lord, offer crushed heads of new grain roasted in the fire. Put oil and incense on it. It is a grain offering. The priest shall burn the memorial portion of the crushed grain and the oil together with all the incense as an offering made to the Lord by fire.